All right, so yesterday, about two hours after I posted the video on the Avada trying to intentionally crash it, I saw Ian from Mads Tech posted something a little bit more specific, talking about this sort of yaw movement that is causing these to crash. He's obviously looked at a sample of videos that exhibit this similar issue. I've also polled the Facebook groups trying to see how many, what's the percentage of users that have also experienced this. And from what I've seen so far, it's about 50% that said they have experienced this, 50% that said they haven't. So I'm not saying he is wrong that there is not an issue. I'm just, maybe I'm just a non-believer and I need to experience it for myself. Now I did try for about two hours last night to try to replicate this problem. However, I didn't have any luck in replicating that. So I went back and watched his video again and again and again to see that exact sort of movement he is making, to see if it's just a combination of making that exact movement that will cause this to essentially flip out and crash. Now I am going to do something a little bit different than what he did, which is I'm going to fly in the uh, non-stabilized mode. So EIS off, it's going to be set to wide. Now what that's going to allow me to do is essentially bring this back into the computer load it up into gyro flow and see where the gyro exactly freaks out. Now I'm hoping before it crashes, we will have enough time to look at that information because sometimes when these things crash like that, you don't get that info, but maybe we get lucky enough and we'll be able to see some gyro information. I'm also going to have DVR running and I'm just gonna to try to basically run that same route that he did, which it seemed like he was able to recreate this somewhat effortlessly. So. Um, and if you know I'm wrong, I'm wrong. And, it, and then there, there's definitely an issue and then there needs to be a conversation that DJI needs to address. But I figure if there's enough people talking about this, if there is a problem, maybe something will get done. All right, let me get it away from us so it's not super noisy. Okay, so if it goes down, if we are able to recreate this crash, <laughs> there's a lot of water here. All right, so I'm also using my rates. So what he was doing was he was going straight. All right, so you can see it didn't like that. Now I'm gonna go this way. Oh, you see that? That was a pretty hard maneuver. See, there's some stumble right there. See, it stumbles down, but I'm able to recover and I'm doing hard maneuvers. See that stumble? See that stumble right there? That's a hard, I mean, that's, see that right there, how it's like, I'm able to recover it. It's not totally, it's not totally unrecoverable, but you can feel it. Now an inexperienced pilot that, that gets that stumble, you can see it. I see what he's talking about. See how it, see how it loses control? Now, because we're not crashing, we're gonna be able to see what's happening in the gyro. Now, there could be a problem with the flight controller that's inducing that. Let's see if it does it to the right. Yep, I mean, it's not as prevalent to the right. So it's definitely something that's definitely affecting the left. Now, is this something that I feel like is an absolute fatal issue? No, because you know, when you're flying a Cinewoop, you're not really yawing like that. You're, you're, not, you're not doing super hard maneuvers. Now, where this is a problem is for somebody who is a beginner that doesn't know that you should be making very large, wide banking maneuvers with the Avada. Like, you should be making wide, swoopy turns. Like, that's how a Cinewoop actually should be flown. Like, you see, I'm like, I'm mixing yaw in with my my role like so that's that's what i am doing but is this something that i feel is like a widespread issue i don't think so so now i've just flown it quite a bit here and i'm going to do one more bank here right in front of me so i'm gonna oh there oh there it goes impact detected so i made this ridiculously sharp turn and i was able to crash it going right so I made a ridiculously sharp turn, but as you can see, I'm still flying. Now, this is, I'm at a lower altitude too, so I'm flying it how a Cinewoop should be flown. And yes, can you recreate this issue? 100%, but is it unrecoverable? I don't think so. So here I am, I'm gonna go left. So that was a little less, like that was, you know, more swoopy, and a lot of that could be 
due to my rates, maybe? I'm not really sure. It's telling me my throttle output is limited. So let me go ahead and bring this back in here. So on that particular flight test, you can see no matter whether you go left or right, it is possible to cause that sort of yaw. I'm going to call it washout because to me, that's what it looks like. We're making a very super, super hard turn with this, which is not really indicative to normal flight with the Avada. To say that this is a fatal flaw, I think is a bit of a stretch. I think for me, it's more of a, a user error. And I'll argue that towards the core that if you are making super hard, like super hard maneuvers with this, you shouldn't be. That's just not how it's meant to be designed. This is meant to be a lot more methodical, a lot more intimate flying. So I didn't have it to where I could not recover either. You saw in both instances, even when I tapped the ground, I was still able to power out of that. Now, is that to say that there isn't a problem that could be affecting some units? It's really hard to say. I'm gonna go ahead and fly it one more time before we go back to the studio to take a look at that gyro data as I'm making those maneuvers. All right, so that's what you call successful, unsuccessful testing. Couldn't get it the crash doing it, but we did experience something similar. So let's head back to the studio and try to dissect this information.